Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This will be an entrepreneurial vlog. In this vlog, I'll show you guys me packaging up the products I need to send to the LA store. I'll be shipping off that box. I also have to uh, organize all this stuff behind me. These boxes and tubs um, are things that we'll be taking with us to the trade show. So they're just kind of like set off to the side. And then that bag over there are products that need to be shipped out. Let's just get things started. So if you guys don't know, Caden Company will be in stores with the Black Beauty Collective in Playa Vista, California. So all the brands had a meeting last night uh, with the owner of the Black Beauty Collective. All of our products have to have arrived to LA by April 17th. So we're just on schedule with getting these shipped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I organize them, what I'm sending versus what I'm not sending. So I will be sending 10 of each product plus a tester. So really 11 of each product and I am sending five products. So I have to be strategic about how I ship them, how I package them, and even what I ship them in. I am just gonna ship them in one of the boxes I was sent by my manufacturer with some of our products in it. Um, so it looks kind of like this. This is the only box that I currently have that I know will fit everything that we need. I don't want to have to go out and buy a new box to ship all this stuff in because we have tons of boxes and I know one of these boxes will work. So why not just use what we already have? The five products I am sending is our C94 brush, our large cube, our medium cube, our small cube, and our double decker. Uh, and I'm not sure if I want to send the velour bags or not. I haven't really figured that out. But what I'm going to package first is just a product. So let's do that. So these are going to be our small cubes. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten so these are ten of the small cubes and i think i need to put uh the barcode on some of them some of them do not have the barcodes on them so let me go ahead and do that so here are our barcodes i bought a couple months ago um specifically for this reason to be able to uh make sure i'm ready for retail stores and i have everything that i need Let's go to our small cubes. So this is what our barcodes look like for our small cube. Um, at the top, you can see it has our brand name and then at the bottom, it has the product name, which says S cube. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on the remaining that don't have them. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put these products uh, in the box. I did go ahead and put some tissue paper down at the bottom, um, and then we're gonna see how to best organize these. So um, we're gonna put perfect. So the next product I'm gonna do is our double decker. So I think I'm gonna have to go make a stop in my garage to go get some more products. So let's go do that. Okay guys, so I brought in some more products that I need to ship out. I'm about to go ahead and add the barcodes on all these new ones uh, and then add them in this shipping box.
Okay, y'all. So what I'm thinking is I think I'm going to ship send. I think I'm going to send them uh, just in the plastic bag and then add the velour bag separately. So whenever a customer comes in to buy a cube, they just automatically give them a velour bag because I don't think that uh, the velour bag will be able to sit in their shelving correctly. Um, so I think I'm just going to ship it like this and then just add the velour bags with the shipment and let them know like, hey, when a person comes in and buys the cube, make sure you add the velour bag with it. So I went ahead and put the barcodes on the double deckers. Now I'm about to go ahead and add them to the shipping box. Perfect. So this is what it looks like when I'm all done. I have 10 of each product in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in our C94 brushes. I'm going to put them in a plastic bag so the covering doesn't get messed up. Uh, and I'll show you guys how I add those in here too. 
So I will be sending 10 of the C94 brushes as well. So I'm about to go ahead and then add these barcodes onto them. I decided that I do want to add them at the bottom. The way they'll be shelved um, in the store is standing upright. So I'm going to get out 10 of these. So that's two, four, six, eight, And then I'm going to put one off to the side because don't forget, I also have to send testers uh, just with our bags. I want to blow dry them and like make them full and expandable, um, not like crunched up like how they are, how they come. I want to have them uh, nice and full on display. So I need a little bit more time with those and that's fine. I do have the barcodes for these as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and add these on really quick. So this is what they look like once they're all done. Very nice, very sleek, uh, and very professional. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap these in some bubble wrap uh, so I can maintain the blue uh, and then add them to our box. So this is what it looks like once I'm done. It's really nice and secure. And then that way during shipping, it won't crush the boxes um, and it won't alter the blue as well while it's in the box. Um, so I'm about to go ahead and add these in the shipping box. So now I'm gonna go ahead uh, and cover the box and tape it all up. So that's all taped up. I'm about to go ahead and weigh this um, and show you guys how I'm adding this into ShipStation. And then I'm gonna make that tester box uh, and then we should be all set and ready to ship it out. We're looking at 28.5 pounds for the uh, large inventory box. 
And then for the tester box, we're looking at three pounds, six ounces. Now that I put in the 29 pounds, I have the address validated. I'm shipping it USPS Priority Mail. Um, and then the cost would be $104.90 uh, to send it ground and then delivery will be two days. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So this is the tester box. This will be three pounds, six ounces. Same thing, USPS priority mail. Um, and the total for that will be $19.78. We're going to go ahead and send this one off as well. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I'm heading to go drop this inventory package off. I am running a little bit behind, so I'm about to hurry up and get there because I have to be to work at 9.30 and it is 8.40. But I will show you guys some clips if I can. Okay guys, so I just got home from work and we have two deliveries. The first delivery I'm gonna show you guys is for our marketing for the trade show. Um, and I'm gonna put this in my marketing video. So this is the first delivery. It's gonna be my shopping bag, my tablecloth, my banner. And then we also got delivered the rest of our tote bags. So there's 40 boxes, which is quite ridiculous. Look at all these boxes. 40 boxes. So um, I'm about to go ahead and figure this out and figure out where I'm gonna put this and stuff. Um, because this is a lot. They've never left all the boxes at once. Hey guys, so as you just seen, we received a lot of inventory yesterday. In that restock was our number one seller, our artist tote bag. What I'm about to do today is I'm about to package them for the trade show, put them in our velour bag, and then put them in this tote. Um, they are kind of a bulkier product, so I won't be able to take as many as I want, but at the trade show, we will be able to ship directly to the customer. Uh, so as soon as we get back, we'll just send those orders out. So I want to take 40 to 50 tote bags or as many as will fit in these different totes that we're going to take. Uh, so I'm about to go ahead, put them in the velour bag and stuff as many as I can in these totes. So I was able to fit 20 in this tote. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, two boxes as backup. So what I'll do is I'll take these 20 with me in the tote uh, to the trade show on the first day. 
uh, hopefully sell out of all of them. And then I'll have uh, two boxes of backup at the hotel. So I'll take this tote back to the hotel and then restock the other 20 uh, for the second day of the trade show. Because this has wheels on it, it's gonna be easier to maneuver in and out of the trade show instead of trying taking two boxes uh, with us as well. So we're done with the artist tote bags. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through our small, medium, and large cubes uh, and then put the velour bags on them as well. Because as you guys know, I just went ahead and I made a uh, barcode for our trade show. So it'll be easier for us to just scan. So I really don't need the barcodes exposed on the product. So I can put the velour bags on there. Um, and that was my concern. Like if I had the velour bags on there, I won't be able to scan it um, for the trade show, for the purchase. So because of that, I just went ahead and I made these. So I'll just scan these for the product. So I want everything to be kind of quick and simple for the people at the show. Uh, so I think already having them in the velour bag is gonna create a quick turnaround for us. So um, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So these are the cube sets. I'm gonna go ahead and put the velour bags on them. Like I showed you guys since I made that card, I don't have to worry about the barcode being covered by the velour bag. It becomes way easier and more efficient for us to scan things. So but to go ahead and put those velour bags on these. cube sets put in the velour bags on those so now I'm about to go through the small medium and large bags and put the velour bags on all of those as well so I'm gonna go ahead and put the small cubes in here just to separate them from the medium and the large and then I may even put the medium and the large in different containers uh, we'll just see how it all plays out Putting them in their individual containers, I'm able to add more. So instead of 20, I can add 25. Um, it's just adding five, but that five can really make a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a velour bag as well. So this is going to be the tote bag for the small cubes. It'll be easily accessible and with my husband helping me, it'll be easier to distinguish the sizes between the small, medium, and large, keeping them in their separate containers. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably buy uh, two more containers similar to this size, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, for the medium and the large cubes because I really want to be able to separate them um, to just be able to grab and go um, So I'm gonna still put the floor bags on it, but I may have to go to like Walmart or something um, To buy a container for them. So let's just finish this through um, and then see where we'll go from there So I'm gonna continue to separate the mediums and then work on the large So to keep them separated, I'm just gonna set the mediums over here. And then um, once I work on the large, I'll just keep the large in there uh, until we get those two different um, totes.
So I finished the 25 medium. I'm about to go ahead and do the same with the large. So what I think I'm going to do for the double deckers is just keep them in this plastic bag since I don't want to put them in the velour bag. Uh, I think it's going to save us a lot of space um, and actually we may actually be able to just take it like this and use this uh, tub for another product. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the medium in here uh, to just save some space. Okay guys, so what I think I'm gonna end up doing is I think I'm gonna end up putting PVC holders in the same uh, tote that the large cubes are in. So I'm gonna take a break, I'm kinda hungry. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, figure out what I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna come back and finish this off. Okay guys, so the last thing that I'm gonna put in the velour bags are our PVC holders. So, so when they're packaged up, they look like this and they can fit easily into our smaller velour bag. So it should be quite easy to just package these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these. So guys, I was able to add the velour bags on all of our cubes. I was able to uh, properly store our tote bag that we got yesterday. And I think as far as the trade show, I think everything uh, is set up how it's supposed to be. I am waiting on one more product to be delivered. Um, it's supposed to be delivered by next week. Uh, it's our clear canisters. So I did order a hundred of these for the trade show specifically. We have been sold out of these for over two months now. Uh, and my supplier was on back order. So as soon as they were available, I went ahead and I just ordered a hundred of them. So there is an issue with the tracking right now. It's not showing up in the system. They were shipped out last week. It's supposed to be here next week. So fingers crossed everything works out because I know for a fact these will sell out at the trade show. I'm more than confident of that. Uh, so I really wanted that product here. So if it can't be here by the time of the trade show, I really will be bummed out about it. Uh, but at least I'll have a sample to show people at the trade show. So we will be able to uh, ship directly to customer as soon as those get in. I did contact the manufacturer and he did contact the forwarder. And at that time they said it hadn't passed customs. So once it passed customs, then there should be an update to it. Uh, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. But this will be the end of our vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching us receive all of our inventory, uh, ship off all of our products to the LA store. Don't forget to check out our vlog next week. I will be going over all of the marketing that I got for the trade show. So I will be showing you the flyers, uh, my barcodes I got. I'll be showing you my mobile device that I got to scan all of our products. I'll also be showing you our shopping bags, our banner, our tablecloth. Everything will be in that video. So if you're interested in pop-up shops or trade show events and you want to know what kind of marketing you should get, you should definitely watch that video next week. It'll be out the week of the trade show. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching our vlog and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!